pattern we head into behind it with your forecast in a few minutes. All right, Kevin, thank you very much. Lots to keep our eyes on there. Social media often gets blamed, blamed for many of today's problems, but as WMUR's Ray Brewer reports, today it's being credited with saving a life in Hampton. Barbara Jovel was cooking lunch at this stove when she made her way towards the refrigerator, slipped and fell down. Fortunately, on her way down, she was able to grab this tablet. I just said, I'm dead. That was it. That was what was going through 76-year-old Barbara Jovel's mind as she lay on the floor Monday, her apartment filling with smoke. Barbara asked that we not show her face. Unable to get to the phone, she posted this series of messages on her Facebook page. Yeah, I'm not a tech technological person, okay. so I don't even know how I came up with this. Fortunately, a friend was online and saw the post, although the friend needed some convincing. I thought I was kidding around, and I ended up using a full letter, really bad swear words. Convinced, the friend made this call. Who seems to be the problem today? She said her stove's on fire. I don't know if she's inside or outside. Firefighters were at the Ocean Boulevard apartment in minutes. They found that the apartment was locked and that there was a window open. The woman inside had been able to push the window open. They could see her. The smoke was down to the floor. Firefighters forced their way in and got Barbara to safety and began clearing the apartment of smoke. The chief says this was the first 911 call he can recall coming in through social media. Barbara says she's incredibly grateful for the firefighters and their quick response time. And even though it worked in this case, the chief says they still recommend calling 911. In Hampton, Ray Brewer, WMUR News 9.